Hi guys, I just want to take you on a little tour of my um, new texture and brush kit called Glitter and Foil for Procreate. Um, so the reference sheet that you'll get in the download shows all the different textures, um, glitter, foils, background textures, and we've got all the brushes, effect brushes, confetti brushes, shape brushes, and an added bonus of um, floral brushes. So these are really cool stamps um, and scatter brushes. Under the texture files, you'll notice there's a link and you can click that to download a Procreate file containing all the textures. The PNGs are included in the file, but as an added bonus, um, you can just download this file which contains everything in Procreate. So it makes it really easy to take a look and view all the different colors. So um, that's the glitters and then you've got the foils. So I've already downloaded mine and set them up. Um, so there we go, just shows you all the variety. Right, so um, just wanna show you a little demonstration I've brought in some lettering here that I want to um, turn into glitter. So I'm just going to turn the opacity down on that and add a new layer. And then I'd like to use a golden glitter. So I'll go into my glitters file. Or you can just import the PNG. So if you um, select the layer, copy, and then go back into the file, you want to move it to three finger swipe and paste. Now I want to add a mask to that. So I want to hide this glitter and then reveal the bits that um, of the lettering. So I'm going to choose mask. If you get white, if it's all still visible, it's because it's a white mask. So we just want to invert that um, and that'll hide it there. So there's a special brush that goes really well. It's called glitter in the effects uh, brushes. So I'm going to choose that and using the mask, I'm just going to paint on the top so you can see the glitter gets revealed but also the texture of the brush just kind of is the same sort of little specks and shapes so it works really well together. So we'll just speed this up so you can see the final result. And there you have it. So the um, glitter brush and the glitter texture is a really good combo. Um, there's a couple of other brushes that work really well with this. So the sparkle brush is really nice for just adding an extra sort of shimmer to the side. So it's just basically, I'll do it down there so you can see it's just sort of a little sparkle there. So you can add that as well just to bring in extra effect. Um, you could also uh, use some of the spray brush brushes. So there's one called Flex, which is really good. Um, we'll do that on a separate layer. You can duplicate your layer and then we're going to use the mask, but we'll just fill it again and invert it so that it's hidden. Put that below the lettering here and then just, you know, you could make it quite big or small um, and spot it around. Okay, so onto the foils. I'll just hide all these. I don't need those anymore. Um, so I'll grab another texture from the foils pack this time. Okay, and let's use a gold again. Okay, so when you find the one you want, just choose copy and then paste using three fingers into your file. This time I'll do it a little quicker. Um, another way you can choose to uh, apply these effects is basically select um, your lettering example. Uh, we will still use a mask so on your foil layer just choose mask and there you have it. So that was really quick and easy and we've got a nice effect. Um, a standard Procreate brush in the painting um, collection is this dry brush. This kind of goes really well with the foil as well. 
So you can just scuff up those edges uh, and it turns out really nice. So I won't do the whole thing, but you get the idea. You can just add, or you could kind of come outside the lettering and give it a little underline and a really small, small foil underline. So that's a good one. Uh, so I'll duplicate this layer here just to show you another brush you can use in conjunction with that. Um, we're gonna fill the mask again. Ooh. Invert. And back in the effects brushes, this brush here called Rough Stamp Brush. So if I put my um, layer mask uh, foil under the lettering and we can just stamp a few of these around the place. So again, it's just a nice little gold effect. And if you wanted to reduce that a little bit, you can even just come straight into the layer um, and paint over the top. So you could get um, like a calligraphy brush and just kind of remove a bit of that so it's a little bit more random. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is one of the other downloads that was included is this it's um, the flower stamps stamped in four different foils. So the reason for this, I'm gonna, I'll show you in a minute and I'll become clear while this is included. But um, inside here, you get all of the flowers um, in four of the foils. So we've got uh, the gold, the brass, the pink and the silver. So they're really, really nice elements to either use um, on their own or with the whole pack together. Um, so I'll go into this example again and just show you how easy they are. So um, if you wanted to use that foil again, I'll duplicate that gold foil, get rid of our lettering layer. So fill, fill layer again. Oops. Fill layer. And we'll choose, say, the rose. So in florals. Got this rose here and we want a white brush and just yeah just stamp that flower and you get a nice um, foil effect on the rose so if you were using this and you wanted a white background that would happen so these brushes need this transparency in order to um, become uh, fully opaque so what we're going to do instead of the mask if you want to use it on white is simply get a black color and stamp it on a layer above your foil then we want to just select this um, stamp that you've just made go back to your foil layer and there's a little icon down here that inverts your selection so we'll do that we're just going to hide that because uh, that layer above so you can see there's the selected flower there and clear so that's made um, the foil into the flower shape now um, you get that black layer and just, I'll turn the foil off so you can see, you just duplicate this a few times. And as you can see, it adds, uh, you know, it just keeps building. Um, so that makes it really easy. You might have a few areas where you need to fill in manually, but it's really no big deal. You just kind of fill in those white spaces. And there you have it. It's a solid looking flower again now. But just to save you um, that time and energy, I've taken each of those flowers and done it in those four different colors. So I'll just give you a quick look at the backgrounds. These are just some interesting textures. So we've got three different textures here and then marble versions, um, which are handy for lettering projects. Um, and then of course the black card and there's a leather texture as well. Uh, so finally, I just want to show you one of the other, we're just going to grab a foil. So go back into the foils. Dusk Skies is a nice one. Copy that. Back into the demo, paste it. Three fingers, paste. And then I'll mask that. Um, Oh, sorry, and invert the mask so we don't see it and turn on your black card background. And then in the florals, um, so all these flowers are also available as scatter brushes. So these are really pretty as well. Go onto the petals and you'll see you just get this nice kind of 
vary, varying sort of shape and size um, petal, which can be really interesting background. Even the petal itself works really well on this background, actually, I like that, um, which can be just a really nice de design feature. And finally, uh, one more thing is just the confetti brushes. So these work well with either your glitters or your foils. So I'll just use maybe the emerald, um, copy that. And let's just even leave that layer on, paste. Again, same thing, mask and then invert. Um, and then we'll choose sort of a nice confetti brush. Uh, sorry, they're in glitter effects, I've put mine, but you can organize it any way you like. Um, and then we're just gonna basically paint around the edges. So this is the star confetti, um, and it just creates like a nice kind of looking star pattern, and the star rotates so it's not all uniform, it's quite random. Excellent. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this demo and um, I would love to see what creations you you make. So tag me on Instagram at Nicole Maloney. Um, included in the file, there's a PDF showing all these tips and tricks. And there's also uh, just click down below for a free sample of the texture.